Yami, you look upset. What is it? I'm pregnant. Oh, oh. what? Yami! Hey guys and welcome back to another part of the royal baby we left off with the last episode we just gave Sebastian a big old kiss and his brother was watching hmm what is he getting up to Sebastian that was perfect as a foreigner once told me hells yeah but what does it mean you're engaged to Natalie Sebastian Sebastian <gasps> that's Natalie we should go oh <sighs> And off they go. But where do they go? I wonder. Sebastian! Sebastian, I've been looking all over for you. Princess Natalie. Hello. And you are? Natalie, this is my friend Yami from the United States. I adore the US. You've come a long way. Um, yeah. What brings you to Basilia? Oh, well, I'm, uh... Yami's, um, doing a study abroad program in Switzerland. She stopped here to visit me and see the kingdom. Oh, how wonderful. Well, I'm new in Basilia as well. I don't know anyone besides the Hamel boys. And, I guess, the Queen. Have you met Anastasia yet? You could say that. I miss my girlfriends back home. It would be nice to have a confidant here who at least paints her nails. So, what do you say, Yami? About what? Would you be my bestie for the day? That's an American term, isn't it? Yes, but I'm not sure. Then it's settled. You can join me on my excursion and we can gossip about Sebastian afterwards. Now, Natalie, we should let Yami rest. Like you said, she's come a long way. She looks resilient. Besides, you'll be busy with your mother this afternoon, so why shouldn't I have company? I don't really think this is a good idea. You know what, let's challenge him. Why not? Yami, you're here to see me, but your mom wants your attention. Later, if you can pull yourself away from her, we can continue our discussion. Ooh, what were you talking about? Ooh, it's not important, isn't it? Oh, enough banter. What do you say, Yami? Will you reconsider and accompany me? There's no pressure, Yami, really. But I won't take no as an answer. Sure, I'd be happy to hang out with you, princess. Perfect. Something tells me we're going to be fast friends. First, I'd really like to change. I've been in these clothes since I left home. But of course I understand. I'll show you to your room. Later, Sebastian. Have fun with mummy. And off we go. <sighs> sad boys. Ew, what a pretty room. I hope I find something nice to wear. My only option is a really casual outfit. You'll need to wear something magnificent, not casual. You're going around the town with me today, so the paparazzi will be hounding you like mad. I once wore sweatpants out to my own garden and it was plastered all over the tabloids as one of those worst rest of the year. It's positively heinous. Ha 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 ha. So, what would you suggest? I will be visiting local schools as a diplomat, and you will be my escort, so you will need to be representing our two countries. Royal designer made me a dress that doesn't suit my complexion. It's Basilia's official colour, a brilliant purple that will help you appeal to the Queen and her countrymen. I'm not brave enough to wear the accompanying headpiece either, but you seem daring enough. Natalie seems really cool, and she's been so welcoming. If you're going to make your first appearance in public with a royal, you need to look the part. We'd make quite the splash. I should probably get used to dressing for the public. All right, let's see how your regal dress looks on me. Fabulous. You won't believe how radiant you'll look. And off we go to change our clothes. <gasps> oh girl, look at that flower crown though. You are stunning. Basilia will fall in love with you in that dress. Hopefully the Queen and Sebastian too. It would be a shame to leave this to sit in my closet. Please say you'll wear it. Ugh. You know what, we're gonna wear it. I don't care, I'm buying more gems. Wear this and win the day. Here we go, using my gems. Everyone will be wondering what mysterious royalty I've brought with me. <laughs> oh, look at me. <laughs> oh yeah, woo, yeah. Wow, we look so fancy. There are people cheering for you everywhere you go. In that look, I bet they're cheering for you. If I wore it, then they'd probably throw rotten tomatoes. <laughs> Does it feel strange to be so famous? It's all I've ever known. Still, things are so different here than the rest of the world. How 
also? Well, you and Sebastian help to rule your countries. You have palaces, guards and crowns. Truth is, it might look different from the outside, but royals are just like everyone else. Ha. Huh. Last time I checked, the only followers I had were on social media. You have people celebrating you in the street. We have jobs, just like you, and families and responsibilities. I guess I never thought about it like that. The big difference between being a royal and everyone else is that the royals do more smiling and waving. It's exhausting. <laughs> Mostly, we want to be loved by someone special. Is there anyone special in your life, Yami? There was, but I think it's over. Don't be so sure. A gorgeous girl like you? I bet he's thinking about you at this very instant. Maybe. I'm sure of it. Whoever this idiot was who left you, he's going to try and get you back. There's nothing more important than our flourishing as a country. That's why I encourage all of you to care about politics. But politics are so boring. I want to be a video game designer. A great aspiration, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't do your duty as a citizen. You can still vote. The choices you make will shape our future. That's cool of you to say, princess, but nobody listens to teenagers. People will. Think about it. The union between Cordova and Basilia will be prosperous for everyone, but only if we all do our part. I guess I could care about politics and games, if it really matters to you that much. <laughs> it does. Sebastian and I hope to sit on the throne someday, and when we do, your opinions are what will matter to us most. Yeah, woo, woo. <laughs> You were so great back there, princess. I love teenagers, they're so honest. But you really got them to care, I was impressed. And I can tell how much your country means to you. Thank you, Yami. It's important that Cordovia and Basilia be joined by this marriage. Is that really the only way? Do you even know Sebastian? I've had a crush on him since I was five. <laughs> Our families always spent time together, but you tell me. How do you feel about Sebastian? That's a good question, Yami. So you two have already met. It was a pleasure. Uh, let's agree politely. Felix is charming, just like his brother. Now, now, no one is as charming as Prince Sebastian. Well, you're right about that. Who knows? Maybe at some point you'll give me a chance to be your friend as well. You certainly look the part of the royal regular. Amazing dress, by the way. I definitely got the better brother. Um, yeah. <laughs> now, I think it's time to celebrate your new journey and my new friend. Waitress, a bottle of your best champagne. Actually, if you don't mind, I'd driver have a ginger ale. Of course, Princess Natalie. Oh no, I'm not the prince cheese. <laughs> I told you, it was a regal outfit. I'm so sorry. Ginger ale coming up. I only drink ginger ale when I'm feeling sick. Are you okay? I'm just a little nauseous. It's been going on for a while. Oh, is there anything I can do? I'm not sure anyone can help me with this. Yami, you look upset. What is it? I'm pregnant. Oh, oh. what? Yami! I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. It's just I've been dying to tell someone. That's fantastic, congratulations. Wow, you know you're the first person to say that to me here? Well, I shouldn't be. This is a big deal. I know. And I'm starting to realise how happy I am about it more and more. But I really need to ask you to keep it a secret. The father doesn't know yet. Why not? Because I'm not sure I should tell him. I understand this is none of my business, of course. But I have to say, but I have to say, I think not telling the dad is a mistake. Why? I totally respect single parents. But if your child could have the benefit of two loving adults, isn't it worth trying? Ugh, if only she knew who the dad was. She wouldn't be acting so nice. Can't believe I told her. Have I overstepped my bounds? Hmm. No, no. I'll think about what you said. Good. And either way, you're having a baby. Yay! Woo! <laughs> oh, he's watching. Hmm. Paparazzi! That paparazzi just heard everything. This can't get out that way. Hmm. Sorry if I seemed weird earlier. I've got a lot on my mind. Think nothing of it. I'm thrilled to be the first to hear the good news. If you need anything at all, you know where to find me. Thanks, Natalie, but I should get going. I've got some serious thinking to do. Best of luck, brand new bestie. Oh, so sad. Hello, Yami. I wasn't expecting, I mean, planning on seeing you so soon. Felix, not now. Yami, please wait. At the cafe earlier, I couldn't help but overhear. I don't care what you think you heard. 
I want a minute to myself. Yami, I heard everything. I know you're pregnant. I knew you were a snake. How dare you eavesdrop on me and Natalie like that? It's none of your business. I know, but I wasn't the only one who heard. There was a gossip columnist there. Your secret is in danger. Sebastian needs to know now. I will tell him when I'm ready. Felix, this is really big news. We're talking about someone finding out they're gonna have a baby. I need to tell him in the right way. The right way doesn't include letting a blackmailing paparazzi tell him, does it? The whole reason I came here was to tell Sebastian about our baby. And now a random paparazzi might ruin it. I know this probably isn't how you planned it, but Sebastian is already under so much pressure. I've held that reporter off, but it's hard to say for how long. I can be the one to break the news to him if you wish. I hate the idea of Sebastian hearing about this from anyone but me. I came all this way to tell Sebastian about the baby. He'll be so upset if he thinks I don't want him to know. I can't just let someone else tell him now, can I? Alright, we're gonna have to tell him. Let's do it. Felix, I don't know how you royals do it. Your life isn't your own. But if it has to come out now, I'll be the one to tell him. I plan on taking responsibility for my actions, which is something I don't see a lot around here. I find that very admirable, Yami. I'll let you go, but please hurry. I'd rather not keep this secret from him. Of course. Thank you, Felix. You parried fiercely today, brother. I've rarely seen you fence with such ferocity. Something must be bothering you. Maybe I'm just good at the game. Something else going on? You're too angry for someone newly and happily betrothed. I have other things on my mind. You mean, like Yami? Why would you say that? It's obvious you still have feelings for her. And I can't say as though I blame you. That's ridiculous. I've already announced my intentions for Princess Natalie. Still, there are reasons why you might want to talk to Yami again. Speaking of, what impeccable timing, Yami. Yami. Sebastian, can I steal you for a few minutes? We need to talk. Of course, Yami. Is there somewhere private we can go? I know just the place. And off they go. Wow, you have your own stables? Mother loves to ride. And Polo is very big amongst the royals. It's beautiful in here. Not nearly as beautiful as you in that dress. I dare say you outshine Natalie in her own clothing. Thank you. I love horses. When I was a little girl, I dreamed of living somewhere with stables, riding every day. My mum used to take me for lessons at a local farm and we would ride together. She always said, someday you'll do this with your own daughter. Oh. Yami, what is it? Sebastian, I didn't come to Basilia because I missed you. I suspected as much. We do have FaceTime here in Basilia after all. <laughs> uh, I had to see you in person because... I guess there's no easy way to say this. You can tell me anything, Yami. Here goes nothing. Sebastian, I'm pregnant with your baby. <gasps> I know it's a lot to handle. It's a lot for me to handle too. And I wanted to tell you as soon as I found out, but you were gone. And then I got here, I found out you and Natalie were together and I realized this whole thing is a mistake. Yummy. I... No, I get it. You hate the idea and you're engaged. No, you're wrong. So I'm going back to America to raise this baby alone. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> Yami, I want to be in this baby's life. I want to be in your life. There must be a way. It's just not realistic. The fate of your country rests on your engagement to Natalie. I can't think about that now. You have to. Natalie is depending on you. Basilia and Cordova are depending on you. Are you willing to forget all of that to be with me? Like I've said, it's more complicated like that. Let's agree with him. I know. There are all these people depending on you. But I'm one of them now too, Sebastian. I want my child to have a father. I want that too. But you can't commit. So if you can't give me a direct answer, then I'm better off going home and having my baby alone. What? No! Yummy! Goodbye, Sebastian. Ooh, what is gonna happen? Not again. Please, I need to get through. I'm sorry, we can't allow that. Step aside. Urgh! They won't be moving. Let's be snarky. Queen Anastasia, you're getting your wish. I'm getting out of this hellhole. My, what spirited language. You want to call off the dog so I can get through? Things have changed. I heard your news. Is it true? Yes, I'm pregnant with Sebastian's baby. I feared as much, which is why I can't allow you to leave Basilia. For how long? Until the baby is born, of course. You will remain within the palace. Wait, you're going to hold me hostage? To be continued. Oh my goodness, this is getting so juicy. This is where the part of the royal baby ends. 
It is so dramatic now. If you made it this far into the video, make sure to write the word baby in the comments below, just so I know if you actually, you know, watch all the video. That makes me happy. I hope we're all having a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next one.